Ooh, it's midnight. You know what that means, right? That means it's the end of good music, and you're stuck listening to me for a little while. It's the Late Hour with Tom Bauer. Not coincidentally, my name is Tom Bauer, your friend on the other end. Put the kids to bed, make a pot of coffee, get your slippers, get comfortable. I'm going to be here for a while. So, what I want to talk to you about tonight is magicians. Yesterday, my wife, she shows me this YouTube video of some celebrity magician, and he's got people all around him, and they're going, wow, they love it. They're eating it up. I mean, they're gasping. And all through it, I'm laughing. Look, I want to tell you how I feel about magicians, okay? Here it comes. I hate magicians. There, I said it. I hate them. I can't stand them. I can't think of anything more in this life that I hate more than a magician. Except maybe broccoli. Anyway, I mean, they're scam artists. They're preying on weak-minded people who want to believe that there's more to this life than the mundane reality that we live in. And at the end, when the illusion is over, the only thing that truly disappears is your hard-earned money. And if you think that's magic, i got a bridge to sell you. Anyway... Enough about what I think about magicians. I want to know what you think. Magicians, are they entertainers or are they scam artists? Call me. You know the number. It's the Late Hour with Tom Bauer. Now, if you missed it a couple minutes ago, I went on a lengthy rant about magicians and how they're total scam artists. But it doesn't matter what I think. What matters is what you think. Got a couple of calls on the line. Let's take him. Hi, caller number one. What's your name? Hey, I'm Julia. Hi, Julia. So what do you think? Was I being too harsh on magicians? Well, I think they're just doing their job like any other entertainer out there. Just like you. They're just showing people what they want to see. It's an interesting theory, I suppose. But, I mean, you, you don't actually believe in any of it, though, do you? Of course not. But if anyone does, no harm done, you know? Yeah, but here's the thing. I'm worried that it's just going to push people back into believing into this fantasy mumbo-jumbo. I hate to break it to you, but magic doesn't exist. I mean, we're not living in Lord of the Rings here. But thanks for the call, Julia. I do appreciate it. Line number two. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi, what's your name? So you don't believe in magic. Okay, getting right to the point. I like it. No, I absolutely, positively do not believe in magic. Everything that my family and I have been doing for the last century, you're saying we are liars. Wait, wait. Do we have a real live magician on the phone? This just got very interesting. Okay, no, no, no. What, what I'd call you is more of a, a performer. You, you can convince a crowd that something is real. But if you think you're some kind of wizard, well, then you've got more problems than I can help you with. There are some out there who use magic for entertainment. But real magic is out there. And it can be very dark. I can't believe I'm having this conversation right now. <laughs> Tom, I'd like to make you a proposition. I'd like your permission to do a magic trick with you. On air, right now. You will not stop me until I'm done. And I promise that by the end of it, you will believe. <sighs> I don't know what to say, but, but I gladly accept. This, this could be the first ever magic trick performed live on the radio. A, a real magician's attempt to prove a skeptic wrong. All right, all right, let's do this. Oh, oh and, and if by the end of it, I don't believe... You promise to expose yourself as the total fraud that you are. But if I make you believe, you will publicly apologize on your own show. You got a deal. Close your eyes, Tom. Oh, right to business. Okay, what do I do? Uh, pick a card, a number, the usual? I want you to think of your worst fear. Imagine it in your head. <laughs> I think we all know I'm terrified of dogs. Don't get me started. Anybody that normally listens to this show knows a story where Listen once I... Listen to me, Tom. 
think carefully about what I just said. Pick up that red coffee mug next to you. Take a sip and think hard. Tell me your deepest fear and I will make it come alive in front of you. Was that supposed to impress me? Look, I, I already told you about my fear. It's those damn dogs. Cut they... the bullshit, Tom. Cut away that happy-go-lucky radio persona that you've been using as a shield for the past three years so that no one can see through. But I see you for what you are. I see your deepest and darkest fear. Brother, I have no idea what you're talking about. 1992. You're out on a boating trip with your family, your little brother, your father, you, and your mother, Jillian Bauer. Ring any bells? Of course it does. You're looking at her picture right now. You were really happy that day, but you weren't paying attention. Jillian slipped and fell into the water. Do you want to know why? Because you were too busy playing with your brother to notice. Your family spent an hour looking for her body in the sea, but you couldn't find it. Next week, the cops called your father to the beach and you came running and you saw her body. She drowned to death. You watched as her lifeless corpse was removed from the sea. Bloody scars all over her pale white skin. That image haunts you since that day. And that is why you've never stepped into the sea ever since. Out of fear and guilt. You have nightmares about it every single day. And seeing her mangled, dripping body in real life is your worst fear. Right, this, this is just somebody's idea of a sick joke. Is that why you're sweating, Tom? Is that why your hand is trembling? Or is that because you know I'm telling the truth? You're thinking of her right now, but you don't want to. Do you believe me, Tom? Who is this? That's not the answer I want, Tom. Oh, I forgot. You only believe in what you can see. Well, maybe it's time to go for the reveal. I'm going to show her to you, Tom. In three... Two... Please. Do you believe, Tom? What? I believe! I, I believe. Just stop. Stop. Please. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I don't understand. I'm sorry. I wanted to go longer, but... So this was just a joke? It was dark, but you asked for it. How did you know about my mother? I'm a close friend of your brother Daniel, man. He mentioned this to me a while ago. Look, I'm sorry I brought it up like that, but you asked for it. What about the, the, the coffee cup and the picture? Look, I follow you online. I've seen them place like that in your selfies that you upload from the studio. You know, it's just a series of educated guesses. So none of this was real? No, but I got you to believe, didn't I? That's what a good magic trick is. If you believe it, it is real. Well, that was quite a show. I hope you all had fun with my misery. I wouldn't say I was proven wrong today, but... Uh, let's just call it an alternate perspective. All right, that's an early end of the show tonight. This was Late Hour with Tom Bauer. I'm Tom Bauer. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. By the way, that was a pretty impressive twist. You had me there for a second. My pleasure, Tom. In magician terms, we call it a sleight of hand because no good trick ends without a surprise. Have a good night.